this evening, I am delighted that we're going to be talking about leadership. And I've got an amazing panel lineup. Uh, I think probably in my six years, the most diverse. Yes. As a leader, mm -hmm. how have you had to grow and evolve and help your organisation through that kind of marketing journey? So I joined Lloyd's TSB and during the banking crisis and then the takeover of HBOS um, and then through that. So we moved to now Lloyd's Banking Group, uh, 13 brands um, and you know enormous <coughs> changes, challenges. So being in marketing where you know, the emergence of customer matting, the, the issue of the fact that we have 13 brands in our portfolio of brands that are all seeking to readdress our relationship with customers, rebuild tr trust, which has obviously been broken in the banking sector during that period. So it was a really important time for marketing to help realign and recalibrate that relationship between our brands and our customers. You know, during this whole period that I've been uh, leading um, uh, marketing for Lloyds Banking Group, I've had a very stable leadership team. They've been with me through that whole period and they are phenomenal. Transformation is really a bit of a theme for you as well, David, isn't it, in the journey that you've had. What kind of skills have you needed? For me, in the first instance, it's less about the skill, because I think you can build skill and you can build capability. It's probably much more about the inherent quality of the leaders and the team that you surround yourself with. So, yeah. You've touched on it already in terms of resilience, but quite frankly, it's working British retail right now. You need to be tremendously resilient. And I think to maintain that level of resilience, because it's a resource, over time it burns, you have actually got to be quite resourceful. Resourceful with yourself, resourceful with your, 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 your team around you. How are more commercial business leaders and politicians different at being leaders? Are, are there some characteristics that are the same, different? If you take even the Prime Minister, you know, it's whether you like her or dislike her or, or think she's doing a good job or a bad job. I mean, the resilience in terms of every day, someone yeah. telling you that you're doing a crap job. Um, uh, how on earth do you pick yourself up from that and carry on? And I think it's you've just got to keep believing in what you're doing um, and feeling like I still want to deliver something, I have a vision for something I want to really um, do in, in politics for the, for the country. Um, and therefore that kind of keep, keeps, keeps, keeps you going, I think. And one of the things that I notice about you, and now I've, we, we've done these two shoots with leading leaders in marketing in the last couple of weeks, um, you have an extraordinary ability to, in a matter of moments really, really capture the essence of an individual. Hmm. How do you do that? Um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the trick that I really learned very, very, very early on was, instead of trying to steal it from them, uh, just collaborate with them and make them part of the journey and the process. And when you do that and they feel like they're they can trust you in some way, um, then they give you everything. We've spent a lot of our lives in marketing not being like that. Yeah. And I think that now's the time for that and I think it's ready for it. So for me, that kind of honesty is what collaboration's about. And, I, and unfortunately, that's a two-way street and <laughs> I get it back and, and also unfortunately, you know, sometimes people say stuff and I'm like, I really, really don't agree with you about this. And, <laughs> and, um, and I'm, I just, I feel like I'm paid and still paid to, and I learned that very early on as well, to have an opinion, not just, to, you know, use a camera. What's your secret to resilience, David? I have a lot of nervous energy. I'm not nervous, but I've got a lot of energy and I need to channel it somewhere. Your resilience does get tested when you're really trying to change things at pace and that's why I bring together that thought around resourcefulness and you've got to have others around you that understand what you're trying to achieve. They're clear, they're engaged, they're optimistic, they're going to help you create momentum. No matter where you are and maybe even especially at the top of the organisation you need more and more of it because the more senior you get the more lonely it becomes. You need to have people that can around you, you can get energy from within but at times when it gets that bad you know, I think you also need to surround yourself with some people who can yeah, give you that indeed. energy. Yeah, so yeah. whether it's your team, whether it's friends, whether it's family, um, but yeah. people that you, they can actually say, actually, you're 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 still okay.